Hey everybody, I am looking at one of the special interest points, point number 17, the tri-point of Maryland, Pennsylvania, and West Virginia along the Mason-Dixon line. I'm here on Brewston Road, actually the best approach is um, from Pennsylvania. You follow this power line right away to the top of that hill there. And when you get to that second power line, tower, transmission tower, you're going to make a right into the trees there. And I'll have a little more detail on that, but uh, it's about uh, seven tenths of a mile from here to there. It's not bad, but it is kind of muddy. It just rained pretty heavily last night, so it's just a muddy um, trek to get there if it's rainy, but uh, it's worth it, and you'll see the marker in just a minute here. So this is kind of the landmark for when you've gone along this power line right away. There's a little purple blaze on there, and then you'll see that gas line marker there. And you'll just turn over there to the right a little bit, and that's where the Mason Dixon line marker will be. Hey there, Chris here. I'm at the uh, tri point of Maryland, Pennsylvania, and West Virginia here on the Mason Dixon line. And this is marker number 34 of the Mason-Dixon line. This is kind of a cool spot here that del delineates the tri-point between these three states.
Okay, what I'm showing here is turned out to be wrong, the advice I gave in the original video. Um, this is Walnut Bottom Road. You need to go right here and then get 135 back to the trailhead. What I'm telling you is to go across the road and through that gate and that trail does not take you back to the trailhead. You have to do some bushwhacking to get back. So the, unfortunately you got to take Walnut Bottom Road back.